In this equation, we have aluminum chloride, AlCl3, decomposing into aluminum, solid aluminum, and chlorine gas. So you can do this by running electricity through this aqueous solution of aluminum chloride, and then we get this solid aluminum and chlorine gas. To balance the equation, let's count the atoms up. We have one aluminum and then three chlorine atoms. Product side, one aluminum and two chlorine atoms. Usually when we have an odd number like this, if we can get it to an even number, it makes the balancing a lot easier. So we could put a coefficient of two in front of the aluminum chloride here. And this two, it applies to everything. So we have one times two, that would give us two aluminums. Three times two, that would give us six of these chlorine atoms. But that's okay because we can fix the chlorine. We can just put a coefficient of three, two times three. Those are balanced, that gives us six. And aluminum by itself, we change this, it won't change anything else. We'll just put a two here, then the one times two, that gives us two, that's balanced. So this equation is balanced. If we wanted to report the coefficients, two, two, three. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the decomposition of AlCl3 into Al and Cl2. Thanks for watching.